Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 2. Let's get into this because I have done several videos today and stupidly deleted them and I am not very happy. So let's get this over with. <sighs> Talk about your annoying alarm clock. You can't jump down from here. You can only jump down from the ladder. That is really annoying. Okay, so if you go over here, you see that ladder? If you go down there, there's a purple rupee down there that is worth 50 rupees, but you can't get it till you get the lantern, which is a bit farther in the game. And by a bit, I mean a wee bit. Like, literally, when you... I literally only need one rupee, so... Snag that. Okay, now we're gonna go here. Just so you know, I'm going to skip the commentary. Okay, he'll say, target me while looking up. And he'll say, come on up here, I want to show you something. And you go up here and he'll point out the cat that's trying to catch a fish and he'll be laughing and saying, hey, you can't catch a fish on its own. And he's saying, if you blow the grass, you can call a hawk, which you actually have to use for this thing. You see, there's a lady who's pregnant, which you may have seen in the opening movie of part one. And the monkey has, over there, you can see it jumping around like a goober. It has the babies. Um... And you grab this, which we'll mention in a minute that, oh, I, ha I have something to give you. By the She'll say, oh, I was looking all over. I also have something to give you. She'll say, bring the cradle. By the way, do not, you do not have to wait for her. It takes forever. If you do, just run on up the hill and you'll get this. It'll give you a fishing rod, which me and the one in the cutscene made for you with the help of his father. Cute. And now we're going to go over to that one area. Oh, I'm just going to, I'm going to grab a hidden rupee right here. Let's see? I'm also going to show you some other hidden rupee areas while I am in the location. Okay, so I gotta go here. Now you're going to want to pull your fishing rod out because the cat is skittish. You're going to have to pull up two fish and the second one you're going to get a cutscene where the cat grabs the fish and Link gets the most priceless face in the book. that big. Yeah, she just hurt the cat. It's realized, ooh, this guy's fishing. Maybe I can get one. Look at the cat behind me. Okay, now here's the cutscene. You cannot skip this cutscene, but it sure is funny. I mean, the look on Link's face and the cat grabbing the fish. That is pretty funny. Yeah, look at it. Okay, now 
Okay, so now that we've got the cat in there, I'm going to run back this way and show you some hidden ruby locations. Because we are going to need them in the future. Because when you get the lantern later on, the same guy who you get the lantern from, he will um, offer to sell you for 100 rupees a bottle with full... A, empty a bottle and it will actually be filled to the brim with oil this is right before the first dungeon okay the only reason i called it is because of the beehive right there you don't want to get close to it in it because otherwise you will get attacked by the bees Now that that's done, there are also uh, two rupees right there on the mayor's house, but I forgot to grab them. So, yeah. Okay, now let's run up the tree. Yeah, it's taking a while. You may have noticed already that there's actually a fairy for the pointer. That is actually supposed to be Navi. This actually, despite all the common stories that Majora's Mask is a way of Link passing into the afterlife, that is actually false. This is the sequel of Majora's Mask. Heart. Okay, so those are all the hidden rupees in this area. Now you go into the shop. She'll say how you must hear this, how the cat caught a fish, you wonder how you did. You gave it a bottle and it's half full of milk, which will roof drink, which will give you three hearts. Okay, you'll need thirty dollars to buy the slingshot. And you want to buy it. Now after this. Okay, now that we've got the slingshot. We're going to go out here. And... Russell will come up to you saying he dropped something inside your house. Now, here's just a hint. There is a spider on your, uh... Yeah, sometimes you get rupees from them, so that's what I was looking for. If you notice links flag actually has a triple on I may have noted that or not noted it. But okay, you're going to go in here, your house, and walk over here, open it up, and you'll get the wooden sword. Okay, I think this is where I'm going to cut off the uh, walkthrough. Well, this part that is. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. These are not the easiest to make. Just know I have beat this game 50 times. Yeah, I have a lot of free time on my hands. I know what you're thinking. So this is Amy Terrio saying, gotta catch them all and catch you later.